Smith County Sheriff's Office says they're trying to find out who vandalized a replica of a Native American home at the Okmulgee National Monument. Abby Casares talked with visitors who told her they missed the beloved structure. My wife has a staff meeting here in Bacon and she doesn't like to drive, so I drove her down. Hugh Colton, one of the more than 100,000 visitors who check out the Okmulgee National Monument every year. It says the largest dig in America's history. Groups of Native Americans lived here for more than 17,000 years. It's interesting to read the details of how they, uh, of the buildings that they were making. This is very typical of what homeless people in Europe build today. He won't be able to see the Mississippian yeah, style house he just ago. described. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office still looking for the vandals who destroyed it during the government shutdown. We were actually um, open for a couple hours a day for the public. Luckily, we recently had had uh, cameras installed in our parking lot. So the National Parks law enforcement officer Drew Grice shared this video of four youths, one jumping on top of the hut, knocking out half of the wall. This is all that remains. Park Superintendent Jim David says that they put what was left of the structure in a maintenance shed. They're hoping to have somebody rebuild it. He says they've already gotten a few offers. Colton says the kids need to be taught to respect the history. Kids know more about football and the Super Bowl than what they do about the history of the state that they live in. He says there's still plenty of fascinating parts of the park everyone needs to see. In Macon, Abby Casores, 13 WMAZ News. Now the Sheriff's Office says the people involved look young, either like juveniles or teens. Anybody with information can contact the Bibb Sheriff's Office at 478-751-7500.